dancing with coconuts, sprouted coconuts from Miami fruit in Florida. Miami fruit, actually. Hi guys, I'm dancing with sprouted coconuts from Miami fruit, organic fruit, um, organic fruit farm, uh, organic fruits farm in, uh, in Florida. They are called Miami fruit. And they, I just got amazing order from them on Friday. So much delicious fruits. I'm going to show you. So these are beautiful sprouted coconuts. At the end of the class today, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to open it and they, they are sprouted coconuts and they taste like cotton candy. So hello everybody. So for those do, um, that uh, don't know me, let me just put the coconuts down. Uh, my name is Alexandra Olenko in Polish. I'm an author of the cookbook Raw Food Art. And this cookbook is all about raw vegan food and uh, incorporates my background as, a, uh, as an artist. I'm a professional artist, painter, and also a health coach. And I've been eating plant-based diet for almost 30 years. Um, so yeah, so this is all about raw food. My second cookbook is almost going, my manuscript going to the publisher uh, next week. So I'm so excited and it's going to have uh, recipes included with baked, uh, cooked and raw recipes from me and friends. So thank you for those who, who uh, submitted the recipes. It's going to be excited. So today I want to have a class. I got a lot of questions about, you know, yes, plant-based diet is great for me. How about my kids? Uh, plant-based diet is great uh, for me how about my husband who is you know an athlete or he you know he goes to the gym and he's very concerned about proteins plant-based is great but you know I feel like I'm consuming a lot of um, junk vegan food what is plant-based what is vegan what is vegetarian what is raw all these questions and also of course uh, about weight loss and losing weight because you know um, we all want to lose weight, I guess. I mean, I don't want to lose weight, but a lot of people, you know, how do I lose weight? So all these questions are going to be answered today. So we'll look at all this rainbow I prepared for you. And I know some of you always tell me, no, let's just start into cooking. But I get emails, text messages, emails on my page, on my personal page, emails on my regular email, all emails for Olenko's Kitchen, questions on Twitter, on Instagram, everywhere uh, about all these different things. So it's just easier for me to answer all these questions for you. So hi for all of the, those who are watching. Let's see who is watching. Hello, hello, hello. So today I don't have any guests. I was going to have a guest, but then, uh, then uh, what happened? The person got sick. So if you are uh, watching, say hi and introduce yourself where you're from and you can also post your questions hi Lydia it's almost Lydia's birthday my uh, amazing Polish friend soul sister tomorrow's her birthday so happy birthday Lydia still at um, maybe we can make something for you so today what I'm going to make uh, I'm gonna tell you right now I'm gonna make macaroons raw macaroons um, so they're going to go in the dehydrate from my cookbook. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to make delicious different pastas with different choices that you can give it to your kids, to your husband. And I'm going to talk to you about uh, different, um, you know, possibilities, what you can make and also varieties of different foods and how you can include them as healthy snacks. Um, okay, so without further ado, um, the first question is about proteins which I've been answering this every class but you know this is number one think about the biggest animals in the world they all eat plants like giraffes elephants uh, cows horses they eat uh, nyroceros this time I said it right because I'm from Poland and we say nos, uh, nos so I always get confused and I say it with different uh, accent but they eat plants even gorillas uh, gorillas can also eat a little bit um, you know insects and stuff but they basically mainly eat plant-based diet so you know and they have huge muscles so there, it's not a problem you know eating plant-based diet and now the question number two how uh, 
you know, how do we include this plant-based diet? What is plant-based diet? Plant-based diet means that you're eating a lot of plants, but what I promote is whole plant-based diet. I um, study, I got a certificate uh, from Cornell, plant-based nutrition from Dr. Campbell. If anybody's interested, it's a great certification. It used to be only allowed for uh, for medical practitioners and now it's allowed for everybody. So you can learn a lot and you, you'll be studying, you know, it's an online, so it's, everybody can take it around the world. So you can, you know, study and you learn from doctors and, and you have a scientific studies and proof, you know, uh, that, you know, plant-based diet, it works great. It prevents diabetes, heart problems. It can actually help, you know, if you're an athlete, actually help you with your uh, stigma and help you even heal when you're eating plant-based diet. If you have any injuries, if you're a dancer, I practice yoga, I dance just for fun, but I'm very active. For those who know me, you know, I have a lot of energy. So plant-based diet is amazing. It's very good for kids. It's very good for younger people in any age. And of course, when you look at the history of, of, of people, yes, did people used to eat, you know, all different diets? Yes. So, uh, of course you can eat, you know, any kind of diet. Are you going to thrive on that diet? So ask yourself a question. How do you feel? Do you feel good? If you feel great, continue what you're doing. I'm, I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to, you know, show you eating the rainbow every day, give you ideas so you can incorporate. And even if you incorporate one idea, you know, that's great. Um, so let me know if you have any questions and without further ado, I'm going to be um, answering other questions because I've got many, many questions. So hold on. Okay. So people say, you know, I've talked about this uh, mindful living and listening to your body. How do we know that we are listening to our body, but not our cravings? And I tell you, I do have cravings too. I mean, I'm, I'm very healthy eater, but chips and popcorns are my cravings. And uh, my husband knows we don't even carry them at home because if I, yesterday I was watching Oscars and I basically ate almost the whole bag of popcorn. Is it healthy? You know, let's look at the ingredients. Popcorn, organic popcorn, organic sunflower oil. That's not so healthy. And then salt. You know, so is it really bad? No, but I just, um, you know, my lesson for me is, you know, in order to avoid unhealthy food, just don't have it in your house. Because if you're going to have this kind of food in your house, then you're going to be consuming it. So surround yourself with, with healthy food. And that goes for your kids. You know, how can you, you know, make this picky eaters kids, you know, eat more, um, you know, more fruits and vegetables. Don't be surprised if you've been feeding these kids, you know, from young age, all this junk, they're not going to change it overnight. So what you can do, you can blend stuff, you can mix stuff so they don't even know. I do this sometimes for my husband that they actually eating plants. Like I'm going to gonna show you some sauces that you can make for pasta or something, or you can put it over potatoes or rice and people won't even know that they're eating veggies in it. So you can do that too. You can make popsicles. So there's a lot of different things, but even from young age, it actually, if the, the, the study has been done that even the, when the mother is pregnant with the baby, depending on the diet, whatever diet she's eating, the child, you know, the, and the, you know, the, the newborn baby, it's actually may have these preferences. You know, if she's eating a lot of sugar or junk food, this, these babies may even crave this later. And on the other hand, when the baby, you know, when the body's eating healthy food, like maybe carrot juice, then on the, the young babies after, of course, they've been, you know, you know, like maybe six months old when they start eating the regular food, uh, they may be going to be actually liking the carrots or carrot juice because they've been used to that. So don't be surprised. It's a process. As I said this many times, if you've been following the streaming classes that I, you know, I haven't been eating meat for 30 years. So it's a long, long time. So for you, don't, don't feel like you have to change overnight and you may not have to change. And if you do eat meat, you know, again, try to support local farmers and, you know, don't go to like supermarket when these animals, you know, are, are living in a harsh conditions and you know just avoid factory farming because it's just heartbreaking and really very inhumane and um yeah when it comes to dairy i know a lot of people have dairy issues they love cheese they love milk there's a lot of alternatives with nuts and stuff that you can do so i'm gonna be showing you um 
you know how to do these things let's see if anybody's saying hi guys for those who are watching oh wow even people from poland are watching awesome nick and adam and hi lydia again so if anybody else is watching say hi 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 okay so a lot of people tell me, you know, uh, my favorite food is probably pasta. I mean, who doesn't like pasta? So healthy alternatives for pasta, which I showed you before, you can make a raw zucchini pasta, the spirali maker, and uh, which I didn't take it out from my uh, pantry over there. And in my book, I have a lot of recipes for different sauces with the raw pastas. Uh, I have some mango sauce, I have some pesto sauce, I even have a strawberry sauce. So you can, you know, make it sweet or savory, however you want to use it. So you can use it um, zucchini or squash, or you can even use cucumbers, uh, carrots, uh, even butternut squash, so you can do this. So this could be one kind of pasta. Low fat, gluten free, I mean as a vegetable, so you're eating a vegetable, so you can substitute this. And this is for people who, who want to like lose weight or they're watching their weight, you know, try to avoid fatty things, you know, the things that they are fried. So vegetables, 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 and fruits. Okay, so that's number one. Of course, um, you can eat um, healthy alternatives for pasta. Like here, I have some soba noodles. So if you like Japanese Asian food, of course, the phone is ringing every night, every Monday. Sales are always calling. I should disconnect this. So this is soba noodles. So if you like Asian food, you can put this in the soup. You can make like noodles, you know, all kinds of uh, noodles. So these um, noodles are made from... Um, so this is not a this is not um, gluten free. It's whole wheat, but it's whole wheat and a, a buckwheat flour. So it's kind of you know it's it's not all wheat. It's half wheat. So that could be your a healthy alternative. If you if you're not gluten uh, you know sensitive or you don't have celiac disease and you can eat gluten you know instead of white flour choose some whole wheat flour. So this is some pasta from Italy because I know personally I I don't I don't have a I'm not celiac disease, which means you can't have any gluten. I'm just sensitive. So I try to, if I do eat gluten, I try to buy like European gluten. I'm from Poland. So I buy something from Europe because I find that the gluten in Poland is, I don't, it's fine to me. So this is some penny vodka. This is great. Rice, rice noodles, you know, so this company, I love this company, Forbidden. Um, this is from Forbidden Rice. Like I should be showing you here. Um, so this is the, the like purple black rice. It's gluten free. It's amazing. You can put this in the soup. When you cook the soup, add it in the soup if you like like Raymond um, soup or like um, any kind of noodles. So I have a feeling that Bill, my husband, he's going to like these noodles today. Um, so this could be your alternative. Of course, you can use this is organic edamame pasta so again it's just from beans so there is no fat there is no dairy it's gluten free it's low fat you know and ingredients is uh just organic mung beans and water of course you can eat rice noodles there are so many rice noodles so uh just go to any health food store go to like asian uh supermarket or any ethnic stores and they have a lot of different section you know sections with this kind of food you can go to whole foods so definitely you know check these different uh, pastas what else do i have for different pastas i think that's it um oh yeah here this is another uh, pasta that you can uh, eat, you know, and this is spaghetti squash. So you can roast this, cut in pieces, roast it, and then it looks like spaghetti. My husband is not crazy about it. He doesn't like the texture. I really like it. Or you can just cook it, which I may do it later for me. So if somebody is really like trying to watch weight and, you know, you still want to eat pasta, do the zucchini pasta raw, or you can cook it or steam it. Or you can use this uh, spaghetti squash and uh, add whatever sauce you want. And again, we, I'm going to show you like really low fat. Um, yeah, because if you, you know, if you diabetic or you have heart problems or if you're trying to lose weight, really watch fat, which comes to different nuts. So a lot of vegans, vegetarians are eating a lot of unhealthy uh, food, junk food. It doesn't mean because you're vegan and vegetarian that you're eating healthy. There's so much junk vegan vegetarian food because again, it's all about the money. Uh, it's popular now, this kind of diet. So there is so much of this fake tofu and sausages and all these different meats and chicken stuff with soy and seitan and everything. And yes, I eat it sometimes occasionally, usually like if I go to like vegetarian restaurant, but I usually don't eat it at home unless like Bill wants it 
because I make stuff from scratch, like whole food. And what you can do when you cook food, if you, you know, busy mom or you're working, you can always freeze stuff and save it and, you know, use it later. So uh, I think there's my husband. I don't know if he wants to say hi. Hi, Myra. Here is my friend Myra who had twins and she has another baby. One day I want you to come and we're going to be talking, cooking Peruvian food because she's from Peru. And you know, Myra, I love quinoa and I love chia and a lot of different things from Peru. So hi. Uh, so for all these busy moms, I know there's I, my, a lot of friends and my clients are busy moms. So again, save it and you know, you can cut stuff even on, you know, little pieces like fruits and, and vegetables and put it on a low shelf, shelf on the fridge. So even if your kids want to help themselves, you know, they have choices to eat and kids really actually like fruits and vegetables. It's just, of course, if you give them cookies and crackers and goldfish, that's, they're going to be eating this. So you as a parent, you as an adult, you have to be uh, modeling for them. So don't expect kids eating healthy food while you're going to be eating junk food. You have to, you know, you as a family, you as a community, you as a school teacher, I'm a teacher, you know, I'm always modeling for my children, because, I mean, for my students, because I eat very healthy, because I like healthy food, but I'm just, I'm just a weirdo, I guess. So, um, so these are all your different options. Of course, oats, gluten-free oats, or steel oats are great alternative. Hi, Bill. Hi. And of course, beans, legumes uh, for your proteins and quinoa and of course nuts. So uh, today, you know, because this is a cooking show, I'm going to be showing you, um, I'm going to be showing you sauce I already cooked. So look how much this is a huge pot of black beans. So I cooked the entire bag, which is 16 ounces, one pound of this organic, beautiful black lentils. And they are, if you never had them, they're very, very tiny, 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 tiny. And they have a different taste because lentils comes in many different colors. French lentils, green lentils, uh, orange lentils. And, you know, depending how you cook them, that you can overcook them. I make this delicious like meatloaf. One day I should make it, uh, make it for you. Last week I add some lentils. They were mixed sprouted lentils in the burgers, which were very, very good. And we actually had them left over for the next day. And they were delicious over salad. Yes, Bill? Yeah. They were so, so good. So um, plants have proteins. Don't worry. I'm, do you know anybody who, who doesn't have enough proteins? Do you know anybody who doesn't have enough proteins, Bill? Huh? Do you know anybody who doesn't have enough proteins? Uh, Starving for proteins? Uh, proteins no. no. Actually, spinach has a lot of proteins. Actually, lemon. Lemon has 16% of proteins. Do you know that? Sp I mean, all of these, these fruits and vegetables have proteins because... Look, again, think of these animals who eat those proteins. They don't need meat, they don't need dairy, and they have huge muscles and they gigantic. Like me, I'm Yeah, huge. you. And Bill, you huge. were, yeah, you lost like what, 50 pounds? Jordan? Almost 50 pounds. Yeah, and you ride the bike. And I what, ride the bike. And what does my food give you? It gives me superpowers yeah, he on does. a bicycle. It gives you superpowers. I can ride very fast when I eat your food. So what do you like to eat in the morning? Usually what do we eat in the morning? We eat smoothies. My favorite is the chia. Chia, That's my favorite. Chia porridge, and you like oh, like granola. We did the Love granola. granola. All like oats. I sometimes I cook the steel oats, or sometimes you, I just do the oats like with cashew milk or coconut milk. Uh, oats, sometimes we granola. have waffles, not very often, but and, and pancakes. Yeah. So just eat a variety of different things, whatever you like. Um, yeah, just watch out for that junk food because I ate almost the whole bag of popcorn. That's bad. You gave me some too. You, you I put, know, but that's you, 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 know. you, you know. You forced me to eat the popcorn. Last yeah, because night. I was. I forced you because you otherwise mean, I would have been eating during Oscars. And you sexed it up with the. Yeah, put, I put some know. nutritional yeast. So again, for those who love cheese and they say I can never live without cheese, nutritional yeast. This is something has vitamin B12 and it gives you really nice cheesy flavor. Those are like little flakes. And really, today I'm going to show you how to make. Um, different sauces and a really yeah it tastes kind of like cheese and I make nut cheeses which you have recipes in my uh, cheese cheese you never say cheese in my cookbook here one, like on one page cheese, two cheese three I cheese. don't know what page but here one cheese so here you have I think you I believe you have five or six recipes in my cookbook for cheese but here look at this beautiful cheese I brought it many times to my to our Italian Family, he's Italian, and they thought, you know, they I'm said it tasted it like, like real. They yeah. can't see it. No, I think so I'll show them there. Yeah. Here, and they thought they said it tasted like cheese because dehydrator is a great tool. So, of the, I think. This so, what are we eating tonight? 
What do we, so? And then I gotta get. I have to pack. Yeah, as you well. have to get up very early. I have and to have get to up pack. early too. So you have a choice. So I'm making a pasta with yes. different sauce. Nice. I'm Love also pasta. gonna use some butternut squash lentils. lentils. I'm gonna make a sauce with that. Wow. So you have a choice. What kind of pasta do you want? Choices. Rice pasta. You you like this? Different mung oh, beans yeah. pasta. You want whole wheat pasta? What kind oh, of pasta yeah. do you want? Oh wow. Maybe with maybe with that. Maybe this is good. But beans with beans. Beans with beans. Beans on beans. I think there's too much beans. Oh, okay. no, I just like the color green. No, I know, but I was thinking, see, I'm a, this is a bang beans and he wants to eat with lentils. I mean, that's a like a lot of I figured of the green and the, the black And you're going the to work tomorrow, so I don't know if you okay. want that many beans. Bad idea. And visually, I thought the green and the black would be you nice. Know, you know, beans make, make you, give you gas a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so uh, we have rice and what else? Rice, you have the whole wheat pasta. I think I feel, but the whole wheat pasta. See again, this is a light color, and the beans are a dark color, so they look nice together. Okay, so I'm making this kind of pasta. I may make. I, I like may, that. I, I could, may I make like some. That stuff too. I may make some uh, this pasta for me. Well, I'll sample some. Okay, as well. awesome. Another alternatives for you: uh, gluten free. It's teff. I already said quinoa, teff, or amaret. These are grains from um, very good grains. They they give you sustainable energy. Of course, quinoa. And uh, yeah, and of course, different kinds of rice, forbidden rice, pink rice, um, brown rice, jasmine rice. There's so many different kind of rice. Remember when I was making the sushi, I showed you the when pearl we make sushi rice. Again? Not today. So. Uh, All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack. Thailand. I'll be back. And okay, so back. you pack, and I'm gonna start cooking. I'll be pack. I'm gonna pack. I'll be back. Okay. Perfect. Don't let the food get cold. No, it's not going to get cold. <laughs> you, you, you keep an eye on it. So, okay. So, I'm going to be cooking some pasta, but I want to show you. So, how you can sneak these veggies, I'm going to be using this camera for, for um, husbands and picky eaters like kids. So, you can use this. Is, I cooked a little bit butternut squash. Of course, you can put some potato. Uh, you can put some cauliflower or broccoli. And I'm going to blend this in with delicious sauce and then over pasta and nobody's even gonna know that there are veggies in it. You can put even beans, like cook some beans, like today I have lentils, but you can cook some kind of lini beans or chickpeas and make delicious sauces too. Uh, sauces are great, you know, if somebody doesn't like plain salad, um, sauces are great and you know kids can dip like fruits and veggies if you cut them you know in the little uh, strips or you can even make a little wraps like here are you know gluten-free wraps you know spring roll wrappers uh, very popular now if you on Instagram you see all these different colors so you can stuff them and you don't you don't cook them you just get a paper towel maybe I show you one uh, later because you can, you can stuff them with whatever you want so you can use this they also sell raw coconut wraps and of course you can make wraps in your dehydrator, which I have recipes in my book too. I have a beet wrap and a coconut wrap. Um, okay, so I think that's about it. If you don't have beans, of course, you can use some beans from the can. I don't have them. I have maybe one, two cans in the house, you know, just for an emergency uh, because, you know, um, ingredients, organic black beans, water and salt. Like, I don't want extra salt. I try to cook salt free and I just sprinkle some uh, pink Himalayan salt or set, uh, Celtic salt. So, um, you know, it's always better to do it yourself, but if you're busy, you know, this is better than eating out of junk. Okay, and then of course we have different nuts and we're gonna be making different sauces. You know, if you're on a low fat diet and you wanna lose weight, be careful with avocados, be careful with nuts because they are fattening. I mean, they're good, but you don't want to be eating a lot of them. And that's what happened to people who follow raw vegan diet, 100% raw, they eat a lot of nuts. They eat nuts, you know, the cakes full of nuts, the desserts full of nuts, the sauces made of nuts, pizza made of nuts. And also, if they're using the hydrator, the food is you know, dried so it doesn't have any water and then they don't feel as hungry. So if you're eating something whole, plant you know from nature it has moisture in it so it fills you up more that's why grains are great because they will fill you even more especially if you're an athlete and you you know exercising a lot or you just want to eat more food like for men maybe you know you can't just live on salads like i can live on salads and fruits bill not he needs like quinoa or rice or pasta you know something and healthy versions okay so let's see, does anybody has any questions? Sometimes this Facebook gets stuck, so I can't see what's going on, but I, I think I'm okay. So now, what do I need? I need to make room. I'm gonna move the fruities for now. 
uh, because there is no room here, so I'm going to put them right there. Okay, so fruit is going out. Look at this beautiful fruits from, from Miami fruit. I mean, look at this variety of bananas. And this is how you want to eat your bananas. You don't want to eat the green bananas. So look at this baby bananas. I would love to have little earrings, banana earrings. I love bananas. That's like the perfect fruit. Yes, is a banana perfect food? Yes. It's like you can do so much with bananas. And in my book, you have a lot of uh, recipes. So, okay. I have my counter clean almost. I'm gonna, you know what, you can't see, so I'm gonna move this here. So, guy, oh, this is so heavy. Okay. Now, I'm gonna move stuff here. So, what kind of sauce? Somebody requested to make a cauliflower soup, like a cream cauliflower soup, but I don't think so. I'm gonna have time. Okay, so first I have to make pasta. I'm gonna cook some pasta, and we need a big, no, I'm, um, uh, Bill, are you going to be coming home tomorrow late or no? I'm pretty late. So I'm not going to cook so much pasta. I'm just going to cook a little bit, okay? I'll probably eat home, though. Okay. So, uh, this is not the pot. This is the... So you know what? I'm going to drain this, um... Butternut squash. Whoops. I use my, uh... When I, it's just two of us, and like I use my dishwasher as a drainer. I don't use that much dishwasher because I have to wash the dishes anyway. So otherwise, I would have been waiting like a month to fill the dishwasher. So uh, these are organic, and I cooked it with the skin. I wasn't sure. So here is the butternut squash. It's already cooked. That I'm gonna be using for the sauce for pasta. Okay, so now, um, this is just like, I don't know how many, one, one and a half quarts of water. So let me see, so I'm using pure water. So no, everybody knows how to cook pasta. Do you know how to cook pasta, Bill? You do? You're Italian, you better. And when you're making pasta, of course, you don't want to, you know, overcook it. Like you want it a little bit al dente because then it will cook on the plate. So here I'm going to, so you boil the water. You never put the pasta in the cold water because it's going to get disgusting. So I'm making, uh, so he wants the whole wheat pasta from Italy. And I want, I'm going to cook a little bit of this pasta, which I think I have it already open here. Okay, so yeah, I have already, so I want this one. Okay, I think I don't have room for this. Tagines, remember we did a tagine cooking class with my friend? So uh, we have to have him back for more Moroccan food. We're going to be baking stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to... I have to refill my water. I don't have enough water. So this is my filter. You know, I do have it. We have a filter thing in our fridge, but um, we need to get a whole filter, filter like in our sink. You, we used to have it. And of course, make sure you always drink a lot of water to hydrate. That's another thing. When you're trying to lose weight, make sure you're still hydrated because a lot of people, when they think they're hungry, they're actually thirsty. So if you drink a lot of water, you're hydrated, you're not going to be craving for unhealthy you know, snacks. And if you do crave for snacks, surround yourself with fruits or veggies. And you'll be eating that instead of popcorn like I was doing yesterday. Let's put that popcorn away, away, away. Um, okay. So we need this. We need some, you can put some beans. What else do I need? I'm going to, I could have put some cauliflower. So um, I'm going to show you. You could have, so this, you depending what you have, you, instead of the butternut squash, 
I could have put sweet potato. I also could have put cauliflower. What I, I even I could have put carrots or beets if they were cooked. You know anything like creamy and mushy. What else would I even zucchini? You could have cooked like zucchini, chickpeas. So anything. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining. Let me know if you have any questions about um, plant-based food. So I'm cooking pasta today with yummy, healthy, creamy sauce. Instead of cheese, I'm gonna make vegan, veganize it, vegan cheese. So this is what you can do, but I'm not using cauliflower and I'm not using uh, sweet potato because I used sweet potato last week for the burgers and before for the sushi two weeks ago. So I'm using butternut squash, okay. And now I'm gonna be using the lentils. Let's see. You know what, I'm gonna move all these fruities from here too. So this is for later when I'm making the truffles. Um, not truffles, macaroons. I have so much food for you. Okay, so here, so this is the, can you see this? I don't know. It's kind of delay. Uh, is that? I don't know, it's frozen. I don't know if this is, hmm, I don't know. I guess it's here. Okay, so let me measure for you everything so we know what we're actually making. So for those who need precise recipes, of course, again, if you don't have um, like butternut squash or something, you can use like pumpkin from the can or you can use regular pumpkin. So, okay, so I have, let's see. Uh, that's probably like one cup or even three, four cups of, uh, of the um, butternut squash. And I'm using the skin because it's soft and it's organic. So I'm going to be using my Vitamix. Can you see this, guys? Um, you know what? I'm going to move it here so you can see it better. And it's, of course, all about spices and garlic and cilantro and scallions and onions, whatever you want. So I'm moving this here so you can see it. Can you see this better? Yeah, I think you can. Sometimes it knocks out, but I think you'll be able to see it. Okay. To move this out. Okay, so I'm going to put now, I don't know how much sauce I want like a cup and a half of these lentils and I don't want the water because maybe I'm gonna use and of course you can put sun-dried tomatoes actually you know what I'm gonna put like two cups because this is gonna be so good and again you can use cannellini beans lima beans or even chickpeas and this is gonna be you know because they're black so the color is not gonna be if you were using white beans, then the color will show. So this is two cups of lentils. Okay, now we're going to put some garlic. This garlic is very... I need a cutting board. That board, I have so many cutting boards, but this one is smaller, so it's gonna be easier. Oops. To take, okay, so here. So two. You okay, Bill? Don't hurt yourself. Make sure you have good knives. You okay? Yeah. You're squishing the garlic and then it's easier to cut, to chop. So probably like two, um, two cloves of garlic or however you want, if you like a lot of garlic. Because we're both going to work tomorrow. I don't want to put so much garlic because, you know, not everybody likes the garlic scent. So I'm putting some garlic. 
I'm going to put some cilantro. So I just want to show you here. If you have any herbs, you can put them like in a glass or um, you can put them in a glass to keep them, you know, fresher. So this is like, I don't know, like a bunch of cilantro. I love cilantro. You can put parsley. So this is already washed. So um, um, what else? I'm going to put an onion. I, I have to go get the onion. Are you okay, Bill? How? Sorry. So this is some purple onion, but any onion will do. Um, anybody? Hi guys. We are cute. Thank you, Lydia. You are cute too, and happy birthday to you. I have a lot of exciting projects coming along with a lot of people partnering with companies that I love. So I should partner with Lotus Foods because I really love their foods, different rice and everything. That would be a good idea. And of course, when you're making sauce, different sauces, you can add, as I said, sun-dried tomato, tomatoes, and you can add some... Um, you know, cashews or uh, macadamia nuts or walnuts to make it more creamy or coconut. So, you know, whatever you want. So now I have to put a little bit of the liquid because otherwise it's not going to blend. So here from the leftover, you know, from because this tastes delicious, you can just make the soup. So here I'm going to put like one... Two, three, I'm still getting a little lentils, four, five, I don't know, let's see if this will, so here the, the water is, so five tablespoons, so for the pasta, well, usually my mom will like salt the water, but I don't, um, so I'm just going to use a little bit pasta, I'm not going to use the, the whole bag, oh. Whoa, okay. It's almost the whole bag. Now I... It's going to be a lot of pasta, but that's okay. This is going to... The bag rip. You know, when you're always trying to do something in the front of the camera, you want it to do it good, but... Always something, you know, happened. My mom used to tell me in Poland that I make... That I... I she said in Polish, Robisz rewolucję w kuchni, which means I make a revolution in the kitchen. So I am Olenko's Kitchen Revolution. Yeah, she says rewolucja w kuchni. Um, so here, I'm going to put maybe one teaspoon of nutritional yeast, and that is going to give us the cheesy flavor. Maybe more, you know, depends. Uh, maybe two teaspoons. And then I'm going to put a little bit of um, cayenne pepper. So just like a pinch or whatever. You can put paprika, whatever spices you want. Uh, let's see. You know, and then we try it and we see how it goes. So whatever flavors you, you like. Here. So we need this to blend it. Or if you have different blender, you may have to, you know, you cannot be maybe so thick. Shall we, Bill, you want a little cashews in your sauce or no? Bill? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit. I'm not going to put cashews. Okay, I know he wants. I made, uh, today in the morning, I made some raw cashew cream for my coffee. So this is just blended, um, this is just blended cashew, raw cashews with water. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. Because I know he likes, I know. Do I know you or not? So I'm going to put a little bit, uh, so it's pretty thick. I don't know if you can see it. It's not one, two, oops, three, I'm going to, four, Five. Okay, perfect. It's five. So uh, a lot of recipes they call for
for you know soaking the cashews but when you soak the cashews they become so great so what I do uh, if I wanted something like thicker I just soak them and then put less water and then the, when you put them in the fridge they you know they will expand and then the, the sauce will get thicker unless you're making a cheese then you have to soak it because otherwise it's going to be too liquidy uh, okay so let's blend and see Re uh, hi Renita how are you you agree uh, that you do the same one day you have to come visit and we have to cook because we, we are Polish you Renita, Lydia, and I, and we can make something Polish, like Polish pierogi vegan style. Okay, so blending, blending, blending. Whoa, pasta is, of course, is... Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Is it creamy enough? Oh no. You shouldn't be putting you shouldn't be putting metal into the Vitamix because you can get electrical shock. Did you know that it has to be wood? Well that's why this is plastic. So be careful if you're blending like and spinning because there's metal in it and you don't want to get shocked. So let's see. I forgot to put some fresh basil and I have my own basil and of course some lemon. This is gonna be so yummy, Bill. Let's see. This is my basil, again, I'm not a very good with pasta today. My basil is not doing so good because this is actually basil from last year that I brought it from my deck inside. And here, it's not that much, but this is my own homegrown basil. So I'm going to take a few pieces of fresh basil. I love basil. Oh my God. Mmm, smells so good. It's good that my cat Kija doesn't eat my basil because she eats parsley and mint and a catnip. Mm -hmm. So here I'm going to put a little bit of basil, so just like, I don't know, and then some lemon. And these are lemons from Mike's Organics Delivery. That's another local farm that I uh, get deliveries. I've been getting them for like six years now, so tomorrow I'm going to get a delivery. One day I should do a streaming for you on Tuesday so you can actually see how I'm getting the delivery when I don't teach after school art because on Tuesdays I get home so late and then I'm just so exhausted I teach regular art and then after school art and then I'm like don't talk to me so hold on let's see if a spice of course you can put more spices like if you like hot peppers or whatever you want if you want to spice it up but if you're making for kids you know the kids may not like it spicy and this leftover skin is great to put in your water Oh my God, look at me. I'm so bad with this pasta. Usually I don't spill anything. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Here, so I'm putting this in my water or you can actually clean your counters with this. It's so, so good. Is the pasta almost ready? No, the pasta is not ready yet. Okay. Mm, this is gonna be so so yummy. It smells amazing. Let me blend it. Sounds like a plan, Renita. Yes, that's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. Mm. So look at this beautiful sauce. I'm gonna try it a little bit. You know, you can also put tomatoes, and you need salt. And this is so good. Wow, it's spicy. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of salt and more nutritional yeast. Yep. Um, so I put two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I'm going to put three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And... I'm going to put some... So pink Himalayan salt or Celtic salt, whatever you have. Where's my salt? 
So this is pink Himalayan salt. Mm, this is so good. We can put we can put some tomatoes in it too, but I don't know if sometimes Bill is not in the mood for tomatoes. He's weird. Okay, so pasta is almost ready. Okay, so how much salt? Maybe this is not. Maybe um, I don't know. I usually don't measure anything. Quarter of the spoon of pink Himalayan salt. Pink Himalayan salt is not as salty as um, as regular salt. So let's see. Let's see if this is gonna be. So I'm just mixing it. I don't need to blend it anymore. But this is gonna be so so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh, so good. Delicious. Wow, a little spicy, a little delicious, very creamy. Mm -hmm. Okay, pasta's ready. I should try it before I say it, but I can just look at it. So try it. I don't want to be overcooked. Wow, it's so hot. Maybe one more minute. Okay, so now. This sauce is so, so yummy. If you didn't have cashews, so these are all cashews, just to show you. You don't have to use them. You can just use sweet potatoes or cauliflower to make a creamy or beans. You can use raw macadamia nuts. You can use walnuts. You can use pumpkin seeds, walnuts, pecans, sunflower seeds. If you're using any seeds and nuts, maybe you want to soak them so they're easier to digest. Accept cashews and um, cashews and the macadamia nuts. You can also use some pinoli nuts, of course, like if you are making pesto, Italian pesto. And of course, you can use some hemp seeds too. Or you can just sprinkle on the top or even... Um, pistachios so just experiment with different things and see how it works or you can even use some coconut cream or coconut butter this is raw coconut butter you know to make it creamy so this is instead of using milk or cream you know dairy or butter you know so you use any of these to make it a little bit creamy and and I only put five tablespoons of ca of cashew was already mixed so there wasn't really much cashews there so maybe it was like I don't know quarter of the cap of cashew so this is really low fat but it's really gonna taste delicious now i'm sure this is ready so um hold on i need a big bowl you know i'm gonna use Oops. i'm really making revolution in the kitchen today <laughs> yes bill yes. yeah i made a mess here i sp everything spilled it Okay, so I need strain it. Um, strainer, strainer. Oops. When should I come back on? Should I make the whole pasta? You can come back in five minutes. Are you gonna be you hungry already? No, I'm done. Okay. Okay, so pasta is delicious. Steamy, steamy. So because pasta is hot, if we put the sauce, it's just going to, you know, the sauce is not hot. It's like room temperature. But if you want to warm it up, you can warm it up. But um, it's going to get warm from the, from the pasta. Let me clean it up here a little bit. Okay, so I'm cleaning so I have room for other things. What you can also put in this will be bell peppers, green peppers. Um, as I said, scallions, tomatoes, maybe I put some tomatoes, so it will be. Okay. 
Okay, so now, does anybody have any questions? Because sometimes it gets stuck. So hello for everybody who's watching. So today I'm making healthy pasta with lentils. And of course you can always add some lentils on the top. This is even, this you can actually eat this as a soup, like as a creamy soup, as an appetizer, like warming up and this is, will be delicious. So there are so many possibilities you can do. Maybe I will put some tomatoes on the top so it looks pretty. Yeah. So here I'm gonna just like this so I'm good. So this make sure you have good knives. Knives are very important. Yeah, see the difference? Look, I can't even cut with this one. And this guy, it's amazing. It, it cuts like a butter. So make sure you have good chef's knives. Oh, I love tomatoes and basil. I can't wait for springtime and summertime so I can plant my little garden on my deck and go visit my family in Poland and go visit local farms. I love it. Just make sure these knives are very, very sharp. Okay, so uh, let's see. Now what you can't see, I'm going to have to move this so you can see. Yeah, this is blocking. This is blocking you guys so you can't see anything. This is from the lentils. And now I'm going to show you. So this is beautiful pasta. So now I'm going to put this yummy sauce. So, mm, mm, mm. And I'm sure your whole family will love this. And again, you can use any kind of pasta. I, you can use spaghetti, squash pasta if you want, gluten-free, low-fat or zucchini pasta, or... Uh, brown rice pasta trying to scoop everything okay you know what will be very good olives if somebody likes olives that will be delicious okay so I'm just mixing this so this looks very brown that's why we need to eat the rainbow we're gonna put some tomatoes in it and we can put some peppers I already had some peppers chopped before and again, you, I could have put some peppers inside, but I'm just going to make it like funky, you know. So if your kids, if you're doing this with your kids, you can let them decorate them. Kids love helping in the kitchen. I guess I'm missing one green one. Hold on. So it's even. Yeah, kids love decorating. Kids from my school were helping with, with my recipes and names. And of course, some basil. So food is ready, Bill. I'm going to put some basil. And again, you could have added some sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, and I'm going to put some olives because I know Bill loves olives. So these are raw Peruvian olives. These are delicious. Mmm. I love them. Myra, you would have loved these. I can't see anything. So I'm going to put some olives. How about I put some olives in between? Mm. And now it kind of looks more like a rainbow. Here. Okay, so there you go. You have rainbow creamy pasta low fat with no dairy and it's delicious
want to take a picture. I want to take a square picture. Hold on. Looks so pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to put the spoon. Now I messed it up the design a little bit, but that's okay. There you go. And if you want, you can put sprinkle extra lentil. So Bill, you, if you're ready, you can come and have some food. Okay. Let me take a sip of water. I don't know if I'm going to be mixing, making this pasta because I made a lot of pasta more than I needed. I think no. Okay, so you know what? I'm not going to be making... Maybe next week I make some pasta for you with this pasta. Oh, you know what? I make this amazing pasta with peanut butter or almond butter, kind of like inspired by Pad Thai. You know, I love Thai food. I've been to Thailand. My best friend Panina, who's having a baby next week, uh, her sister has a restaurant, Thai restaurant that we love to visit. So I make kind of like my own version of Pad Thai that I actually have two. I have one, the raw version and the book raw food art. And this one is going to be my my new book too, but with the rice noodles and it's delicious. So maybe I make it for you another time. Uh, so it's so good. Bill, your food is going to be cold. Okay, so let's put this on the side. Do you want some salad, Bill? Yeah. Okay, so here I have a little salad for Bill because Bill is not so good with salads. Do you want some avocado? Yeah. Okay. Somebody was asking me about avocado, you know, how to make avocado not to turn. So before today for lunch, I had um, avocado. I had half an avocado. So this is what you do. You keep, this, the, you keep the um, pit in the avocado and you keep it, you know, together so that it's not going to turn, you know, it's not going to turn black. But everything, of course, when you... Um, of course, when you slice something, an apple, anything, it's going to oxidize it. It means it's going to be exposed to air. It's aging. This is what happened to us. We're always changing. Uh, you know, our cells are always renewing, and that's what is going to happen to the plants. That's why it's good to eat the plants right away when they are, you know, picked from the garden, the freshest, you know, the produce, the better. But then this is what, if you do this, then, and this is how you pick it, and then sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't, see? And actually, my friend Regina, oh, wow, she grows these guys That's a cool technique and then she puts uh, toothpicks and she grows them so now when it comes to avocado you love avocado I, I love, love avocado it. you can use avocado oil for your mask for your hair for your skin you can actually use this avocado to make chocolate mousse which I showed you which avocado is amazing but avocado it's you know it's a good fat but it's fattening so again for those who are trying to lose weight or who are having heart problems, heart conditions, you know, diabetes, you know, be careful with fat. So maybe eat like a quarter avocado, maybe like two, three times a week. And the same with nuts. But, you know, this is not a lot. I eat a lot of avocado. Yeah, but you, you, you don't have to worry about losing weight. You look good. So. Uh, I could drop a few LBs. But that's push-ups and sit-ups. That's a different story, you know. So, again, you know, we need to eat healthy, but we also need to exercise. So, today I was going to go for yoga class. I went yesterday, but we had a very busy day, which I can't share it, but we had a very exciting day. So, a lot of cool things happening, but we were very, very busy today. So, I'm not good with secrets, but I can't say anything. So, anyway... Uh, keep, you know, go for a walk, exercise, go to the gym, you know, so you're keeping your heart rate going and, you know, your, your body moving. So here, avocado for Bill. And, avocado um, for me. So okay. I already here, I have some mixed greens uh, with some organic cucumbers, the peppers. I don't have any tomato. You want some tomato? Uh, sure, I have a little tomato. Oops. I bought That's some clean. nice ones. Yeah, I you bought, bought some these nice organic. So organic, I'm giving him a lot of avocado, but on the vine. he didn't eat that much today. And he's getting up very early tomorrow and he probably won't eat breakfast. So that's okay. So Organic um, tomatoes on the vine. So, and I'm, this is what I do. I don't put any oil in my salad dressing. Usually we, uh, I put a little bit apple cider vinegar or lemon or just lemon or a little bit of that or co raw coconut vinegar, which is even better then apple cider vinegar, I don't know if you can see it. They both have mother, that means they have the probiotic in it, which are very healthy. Good and mother. people were excited for you to be making kombucha. Oh, I want to make I think kombucha. we should order some a mother. Mother. Uh, no, it's called not the mother, it's called uh, 
What's it called? I don't know. Scooby or something. Scooby. Scooby. I like Scooby Doo. School Scooby, I think. And then you, we're going to be starting making, you're going to make your own kombucha because he loves kombucha, but it has good probiotics. So you, which one yeah, you want? Yeah, Oh yeah, I mean, it's just food. So which one? Or oh, you just want lemon juice? Um, I'm going to try this one. Okay. You mean, what do you mean try it? You already have had it so many times. Oh, I didn't even know it. Yeah. You fooled me again, Alexandra, Come fooled on. me again. So, and then there is, you know, healthy salad, you know, eat the rainbow every day. Gotta eat that rainbow. Yeah, Bill is not crazy about salads. I love salads. I can just eat salads every day. Well, you put avocado day. in it. It's a different story. Yes, I story. have almond butter from Trader Joe's. Yes, make sure, awesome, Renita, make sure when you eat um, those butters that they are raw because many times they are roasted. So, the, you know, the nuts, meaning toasted, roasted, that the nuts been, uh, you know, brought to the higher temperature and they are a little bit carcinogenic. So that's why it's better to eat the nuts. Uh, in a raw form like squirrels, which we have coming every day for nuts. They love their nuts. So things thing like a square. Uh, but yeah, if sometimes from time to time, you know, toasted, roasted, they taste even better. So, okay. Now I would have put on uh, this. I really love this um, salad booster, but it has sesame. He's allergic, so he cannot have it. That's why it says, Bill, don't eat. Yes. But um, but you can put any spices you don't want. You can hospital. put some hemp seeds. Yeah, that's I don't not. Want to go to the hospital. No, 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 don't even mention it. You want some pumpkin seeds? Let's yeah, spice, spice it up. Spice we'll give it up. some. Let's give. Have let's some salsa. see. Salsa on a salad? I don't think so, Bill. That's that's like we have to make taco night, and we have to make like a pizza salsa. nut. So we can put that and. I put salsa on everything. So you can put some hot sauce or something, whatever you want. So here, so this is a salad. And this is his pasta. I have to give you a different plate. I can't open this. You want a bowl or you want a plate? Maybe a bowl is for easier. What? For your pasta. Oh, yeah. I'll or you want in the same bowl? No, a bowl. No. A different bowl. So here, uh, so here is some... What's the, yeah, nice. So that's lentil sauce? Yes, lentil creamy sauce. And again, you could have used... I like the olives. You could, you could have used... Uh, I know, these are so good. I want some olives. These are from Raw Food World from Peru. Myra, Peru. these are from your country. And, and made in Peru, just like Myra. Carmen, I have two friends from Peru. Made, in, made Peru, in Peru like Carmen. How much pasta do you want? A little more. So... One more scoop. Do you want... Uh, that's good. Do you want... Look how nice that's and enough. creamy and thick this yeah, pasta that's, that's is. Enough. Delicious. Wow. I give you some that's... olives. And... Um, you need a fork. I do. And if you want extra cheesy, you can put extra cheesy extra or hot cheese. sauce. You have the, you know, different. I'm gonna get some fire out of the Yeah, fridge. if you want, I'm you some know, fire. I, it is fire. Bill, better try it because I put cayenne pepper. It's okay. a little spicy, so well, you may not need I'm it. Get the fire but again, ready. for this sauce, you can put some. Um, so I use the butternut squash, but you can use some cauliflower, you can use sweet potato, you can put some bell peppers, and you can use any kind of beans, white beans. You know, if the beans were white, you will have different colors. So I, uh, what I like to do, I like to use the beans, like white beans, cannelloni beans, and put a little bit beets, and the sauce is beautiful, like red, pink color. Mm. Like hot, like Ashley. If Ashley's watching, hello to Vegas and are the baby in, in Malibu to April and Shaw. Hi, babies. So, uh, yeah, because they watch sometimes. So here, there is your food. I don't know, Thank do you, you. want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it. Try the pasta, pasta and see first. if you like it. Okay, and I have to clean up and move Bring on. Bring me to, the heat. And I will moving on to the... Tr are uh, there pits in these olives? No, oh, these are pitted. Nice. Oh, pitted. Good pasta? Oh, man. And he's Italian, so it nice sauce. Really delicious. You will think it's cheesy and look how creamy this is made from mm. lentils, mm. lentils. Wow. If you're wondering about proteins, mm. legumes, chickpeas, beans have a lot of proteins. Wow, this is so good. It's good, delicious, yes? I love it. I wish mm. there was a smell button and try button. Of mm. course, if you like, you can use some the essential olives, oils. The olives really yeah. go well there. You can even blend the oils. You can put even sun dried tomatoes. You can use some um, one very little, little, little essential oils. I'm not going to put it for him. He's not crazy about it. Like, I like herbs. You can put some Vitality mm. line essential oils. I was just cooking, um, teaching a class on Friday. We had a great turnout. So many people interested in essential oils and healthy cooking. Thank you for those for coming. We're going to have more classes. So again, fun projects coming to Olenko's Kitchen and Olenko's Kitchen going global. Um, so yeah, it's so much fun. I love this stuff. So you can add that. Is it the good raw sauce? Heat. Bring the heat. Yeah, bring the heat and bring the sauce the is so good. I love this sauce. 
the raw heat. And you saw it, I put very little, very little cashew cream. So it's really like, it's almost like fat free and you can actually make it completely fat free. Just put some bell peppers and put some spices, you spice it up and then it will be delicious. Okay. Spice it up. I need some water. So, so get I'm, some I'm water, water and then I'm moving your stuff out of here. Okay. Okay. Because I need room. Actually, I'm going to move all of these guys. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep these guys. I love our Brita. It's really good. I know. I'm going to keep these guys, but uh, I don't want any of these guys. So remember, you have so many choices. You can use for gluten free rice, uh, quinoa, amaret, teff. Um, I forgot to tell you. You can even make your own, uh, you know, uh, remember I always say about adding some seaweed, which my cat Kija ate entire nori. There is nothing left. I have to go tomorrow to H Mart to buy, but you can use some dulce. These are some dried kelp. You can put this in your soups, you know, to, for iodine because we are all low in iodine. So I'm going to leave some um, nuts here because I don't know if I'm going to be using them. Mm. Delicious. Mm, I want to eat some. This Ooh, that raw go, heat. That raw heat is hot. Yeah, I, I told you. This would go really nice with some wine. I was just thinking this. Yeah, so you should have thing. a glass of wine. I should have a glass of wine. I want. Well, this, we can make that happen. I want this pasta so bad. Can I try a little bit? Yeah. Oh wow. Mmm. 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 So good. Hold on. Let's get some wine cooking over here. Delicious. You gotta have wine with your pasta. I know. It's imperative. I know. You can use some, you, you can put, of course, some um, pignoli nuts. Of course. Keep your nuts to keep them fresh. Or roll nuts in the freezer on the fridge. I so always keep my nuts better. fresh. they better. But I eat so many of them that they don't last very long because I cook so much. Because, and somebody was saying this, how do I, how come you give me this one short, one long? Uh, that's just, a, you know, they were on um, the edge. I know, we have so many different this. glasses and he always gets like, we have 12 of these, 12 of these, but anyway. So somebody was asking, how do I eat all this food? They were like shocked. Mm. When you're eating plant-based food, guys, you need to eat a lot of food because when you're eating meat, you know, meat takes up sometimes up to 16, 18 hours to digest. Plants take like two, three hours. So you need a good quality of food, a lot of even six servings a day, especially children, you know, they need a lot of because they have very small stomachs, pregnant women. And yes, you can be pregnant and eating plant-based food. So uh, again, check Dr. Campbell's work, uh, Dr. Furman. There's so many, you know, plant-based doctors that you can, you know, check it out and, you know, do their do scientific the background. It doesn't matter to me. But um, I'm feeling this that? one. This one is short and stubby like okay. me. It's thin like you. Okay. So <laughs> cheers. Pasta, pasta, nasdrovi. Hey, that's Polish. How do you say Italian? Hey. Chin, chin. Uh, this bad. I don't know. Bon appetit. That means like good, good eat. How you French. say it? Who speaks Italian? How you say cheers in Italian? Salute. 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 Yeah, of course your mom is Italian. She always says that. Salute. Okay, so salute. It's good wine. What is it, Marla? Uh, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. So, mm. anyway, what was I saying? Dr. Furman. And before that? I don't know. I was busy pointing I'm just on. saying, you know, you can uh, make anything healthy. Oh, I was saying that you need to eat a lot of food, especially when you're eating a lot of raw food, because, you know, that looks like a lot, like this is a, you know, spinach. I mean, look, this is like a lot of spinach, but if I was going to put this in a smoothie, it's going to shrink. And if you're going to cook this spinach, it's definitely going to shrink because fruits and vegetables and greens, leafy greens have a lot of water. So, you know, you need to eat good amounts of them like cows. They eat and they, if you, the real cows, like my grandparents were farmers in Poland, the cows were outside all day eating grass, eating grass, eating grass. Unfortunately, these animals today, they stuck in the cages and, you know, they give them grains and they, they're supposed to be eating grass, just a little bit grains. And they, they eat all day, all day long. So who has time to be chewing, you know, spinach all day? So that's why you need to eat variety of different things. So put it, you know, uh, pack it up and, you know, put different things. Eat variety. That's the most important thing. Eat the rainbow every day and the variety of different things. So, uh, what else I want to tell you? 
That's it, I think. Now I'm moving to my... I have a question. Yes? Should I eat the salad first or the pasta first? Because usually you eat salad before the meal. But I also hear people say, eat the salad after the meal, so it helps you digest. Okay, again, this is me. Eat however you want it. Follow your own intuition, follow your own body. You know, eat plant-based diet. I didn't explain it in the beginning. I said I will explain it to you. Plant-based diet means that you're eating plants, as many plants as you want. That doesn't mean that you are all vegetarian, you know, or you are vegan. You can be still eating meat, but you know, just eat a lot of plants and you know what? Eat as much as you want. However, whatever makes you happy. If you like cooked spinach, eat cooked spinach. If you like raw spinach, eat raw spinach. Just eat fruits and vegetables in many different forms. Whatever makes you happy. And write a journal. Like, see, you know, when you eat this, there's some broccoli in it. You know, how does it make you feel? For me, because I haven't been eating meat for so many years, I eat very light, you know, I'm pretty very good eater, so healthy eater. So if I eat that popcorn, I really don't care because I'm so healthy. That's like the only junk thing that I eat. Uh, you know, I can eat, you know, fruits and vegetables and it doesn't matter, like my stomach doesn't get upset. For some of you, maybe if you eat those beans or have a smoothie, you feel bloated, which I hear a lot because, you know, your digestion is slow. So drink lemon water, uh, use, use some, some herbal water. teas, you know, you can use some essential oils <laughs> and, you know, so your digestion gets better. And of course, you know, eliminate the fatty, the salty, the, the greasy, the processed food, all this different, you know, junk food. The candies, the sugar, and everything. Okay, so now talking about sugar and desserts, moving along to desserts. Who said you can't have your cake? Yes, you can. You can on my diet, on the rainbow diet, Olenka's kitchen diet, you can have your cake and eat it too, and it's delicious. And yes, I do eat all these things, and we eat abundance, we share it with the world, and people call me and ask me, text me, do you have chocolates? Do you have these popsicles? Do you have these donuts? Oh, I'm dreaming about your whatever. Yes? So, do you have any leftovers? People love the chocolate. People love the food, so people love everything. So mm -hmm. anyway, this is what is the fun. Just experiment, have fun with your friends, with your family, with kids, you know, make the food, share it with the world. There's plenty, there's abundance everywhere. You know what, if you're hearing something, remember last week I had my friend Nicole, I told you about crystals, these are quartz crystals. I love always wearing crystals on me. I cannot wear any necklaces because I have a microphone because I have beautiful necklaces from my friend um, Bohemian Jewelry and she makes, but these I love. I, we picked those from uh, Letchwood Park, remember? Letchworth, yeah, oh, wow. these are these are beautiful. So I was uh, charging them yesterday was a uh, solar eclipse and a new moon. New moon is great for, you know, putting new intentions to the world. And now I love wearing them in my pockets. And um, so if you hear some like... The Grand Canyon of the East. Yeah, let's that was amazing. Let's go back. Okay, so uh, let's make the macaroons. Do you love those macaroons? I love macaroons. These are so good. And somebody, I think Rowena from New Zealand was making them in the, in the oven. So I don't know what happened because these are from my raw. Um, but if you make them in the oven, let me know if they came out good. So oh, the difference between, you know, cooking something in the oven and cooking in the dehydrator. So dehydrator, you cook anything below 118 degrees, which is considered raw food. And I wrote the whole book about, you know, all these different healthy, uh, raw, vegan, plant-based dishes. So and it's divided into a four season. So um, these macarons, in the in the book, I, uh, you know, I say put in a dehydrator. If you don't have a dehydrator, you can try it on the lower setting of your oven and you may have to like leave the door open if you have electric, uh, if you have electric, not gas, because then if you have gas, you don't want the gas to be, you know, escaping and see how it goes. I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But for here, for in this dehydrator, they're going to take a long time, like overnight. And what you need for those macaroons. Thanks, Raj. Roger and, likes my shirt. Oh, cool. And hi, Roger. You have to come and we do the biking, the exercising yes. class one day. And then we really can talk about your muscles. Yes. And how you fuel yourself on a plant-based diet. So, uh, let me Ooh. move all of this. You, f you full? See, I'm pasta is very filling. Yeah, but this is healthy pasta. Very healthy pasta. Of course, to the <laughs> pasta, you can put any kind of herbs you want. Bill, it's not so crazy about herbs. I was herbs. Tells me I eat like a wolf. I love these herbs from Poland. Yes, you do. <laughs> you have to chew your food. Yeah. 
Um, I do. So I you need a that. really big bowl for this pasta. So I'm just wash it down with the wine. Yes. Let me move all these. Can they see this? Should I keep this? Yeah, I'm going to move. So here is the pasta. Can they see this or no? I'm going to... So sometimes we drink wine, sometimes I drink coffee, usually I drink smoothies and juices all the time and a lot of water. So again, you can just live your life and you don't have to feel bad. Don't listen to anybody tell you, you can't, you can't, you can't, because when you, when you tell yourself, I can't, all these restrictions, you're never going to be happy on a diet. So baby steps, you know, maybe this week eliminate, I don't know, cheese. Maybe the next week you eliminate, I don't know, sugar. So just do it slowly and see how it goes. I can't, I can't. Eliminate the cheese. I love the cheese. It's hard. It's difficult. Yeah, but, but how about my is? vegan cheese? The, well, there needs to be more vegan cheese happening. Yeah, but that's the thing. Vegan cheese is fattening. I will eat a lot of cheese because I love nuts. So here, this is what I'm making. These are amazing. They're in the, they're in the summer section for my cookbook. When I make them, they're gone. I tell you, like, they're gone that he takes them out of the hydrator and he tests them mm -hmm. during the process okay. because he's testing them and they're not even ready because you want to make sure that they are, um, you know, dry, completely dry. So, again, when it's humid in the summertime and there's humidity in the air, it may take you longer. Now it's summer, winter time, the heat is on and, you know, it's very dry in our house, so it may take, you know, shorter. And, again, also depending how many, you know... You have different trays in the dehydrator. How many trays do you put in? Uh, how much you fill them in? Here, uh, this is what I'm making. Those are so good. And you can, of course, dip them in a raw chocolate. And they even, they taste like Ifrochure. Mm. What do you call that? Um, what? If, not Ifrochure. There's this Italian one. Those desserts. Italian. Like tartufo? this. Not Tartufo. Ifrochure. Oh. And they have this, but then they have a little walnut in it. No, has a hazelnut oh, in hazelnut. it. Oh, hazelnut. Mm. You know what I'm talking I about? Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's called, I don't know, maybe if for sure. No, I think if for sure is a cosmetic company. I never heard of I think of this. I'm getting confused. But there is this Italian dessert, like it's popular in Poland too. And I got inspired by them. So this is very, very simple. You need three cups of co shredded coconut, two large bananas, mashed medicinal vanilla or vanilla extract, pink Himalayan salt and maple syrup or coconut nectar. That's it. It's very, very simple. Oh, you love my raw chocolate? Oh, so you have to come. We will make some more chocolate. So this is it. It's very, very simple. These are delicious. So you need very ripe bananas. I never, I never stop eating as long as I'm in this house, Roger. Oh, it's uh, Spony. Spony? That's what we thought. No, it's not called Spony. Sounds right. Yeah, but there is. It a, sounds Italian. Maybe in our in Poland it's called something else, but it's from Italy. I think Italy. he's right. It's pony. No, but that's not what I'm saying. Oh, you're trying to describe something different. But I mean the name. I don't. I, I will find it. But so this is what you need. Uh, you need very, very, very spotty bananas. Like the spottier, the better, because then you have the natural, natural sweetener. And look, there's no sugar in this. It's just, you know, the, the, the flavor from the bananas. But because I want to make um, two of them, I'm going to, I need another bowl. I want to make with chocolate and I want to make, I want to make triple. I'm going to triple the recipe, but I'm going to make separately. When you're tripling the recipe, especially or double the recipe, especially when you're baking. My mom taught me this a long time ago. My mom, my mom uh, was her birthday actually last Saturday. Happy birthday, mom. Um, my mom, Anna, she told me this, you know, that you can be, you know, doubling the recipes because it may not come out right. So with, with raw food, it's not the same because it's not that scientific. But still, I'm going to show you, you know, to follow the recipe in different bowls. Um, I'm going to show you how you can make the macaroons different colors and different flavors because I have a lot of ripe bananas. What's up, Kelly? So Kelly's here. watching too. Kelly Hi Kelly. So uh, here. So I'm going to put two bananas, two ripe bananas in one, two ripe bananas in this one, and two ripe bananas in this one. I hope I have enough shredded coconut. Wow. I hope mean, so too. Yeah, because hold on. I mean, maybe I only can do two because um, let's see if I have that much coconut. 
Sometimes I'm like very ambitious. Okay, I have this shredded coconut, this shredded coconut, and this. Oh, it makes a match. Okay, so here, this one is organic, refined, and reduced fat coconut. No sugar added. You want to make unsalted and um, without preservatives. So this one is very fine. The very fine works very well for this. This one is from Trader Joe's and Sweden Organic Coconut Flakes. This kind, it works very well too. Um, and I also have, which kind? This kind, I don't think so, this kind is gonna work because this is more like if we we're making coconut bacon, which we can make it too. So let's see if I have enough. I may, otherwise I may have to make it uh, only two kinds. Because I need, yeah, I'm not gonna have enough. I thought I had more cooked shredded coconut. I may have a bag over there. It must be somewhere around here. Yeah, but... <laughs> There's bags of stuff all over yeah, the place. Yeah, because I'm testing, we're testing. It's like, a, this is like a bakery restaurant. So, okay, so I need three cups of shredded coconut. Okay. Three cups shredded coconut. That's a lot of coconut. Yeah, but it's gonna like disappear. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, it's gonna disappear mm -hmm. in my stomach. Yeah, but they, you know, they are so good and, you know, one one batch is not gonna do it. How Ferraro many you get? Rocher you get chocolates. 15, eight, what? Lydia says Ferraro Rocher. Ferraro Rocher chocolate. Lydia, you're a genius. Exactly, that's what I mean. Ferraro Rocher. I say if Rocher. See, I knew it was Rocher, but if Rocher, I think it's a company, a cosmetic company, like a natural something from Italy so um, so I have a little bit of this one let's see if I have enough of this one no I only have two so let me see. I had coconut Fl coconut flakes Yay. but these are big one but I, oh, I, you I know what flakes. I'm but these are like really big. You know what? This one are gonna be. Bigger the better. These are gonna be mixed one. So this guy is gonna be experimental one. So yeah, three cups. This here I use all three kinds. Because I'm making a different color. So here I have the shredded, the the fatter free, and then uh so this is what I need. Mm, it smells so good. I love coconut. What time is it? Oh. Wow, I've been already on for an hour. Oh, at least. No, an hour and a half. Yeah, wow. twenty-four. So here I'm putting. Um, so I'm gonna. You you should mush them. In the in the different containers. So I'm gonna mush it. I'm gonna use the bigger one. So two large bananas, because this one wasn't that large. Very ripe, so see when it's very ripe, you, um, you want to, you know, it's gonna be so, so sweet. This pasta is awesome. I love it. I should. The olives are so good. Mm. I know, you want more olives? pasta? Uh-uh. I mean, there's I so much pasta. This. Did you eat the salad? I ate most of the salad, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys here. Mmm, got some raw heat. Because you, I like the spice. You can spicy. see. Okay, so here, where can I put this so you can see? Like this. And I'm making this recipe. Is that good? Yeah, look, this fits perfectly. So my cookbook, this is why we didn't get the hardcover. Um, it's washable. So if you spill something, it has this really cool... Um, fabric. I mean, it's paper, but it's special, like a waterproof paper. It feels kind of like a peach skin. It's got a coating on it. That, like a coating that you can. Uh, it's good if you spill something in the kitchen. So here, I'm gonna put it here, and hopefully, we'll stay here. Okay, does it stay? Yeah. Can does it want to stay that much? All of them. Okay, now it stays here. Look. Yeah, 
Look, so they can see. Okay, so two of these, so I'm mushing. Can they see guys. over there? I don't know. I don't think so. No, but they can see it that way. Oh, I see it. Yeah? It's there. So here, I want to... I don't know. This camera, you made it so out today. It's out? No. Yeah, like it's, yeah, I'm telling you. So I'm mushing the bananas, guys. I made it out. Here, I'm smashing the bananas. Very Smash them. Get in there. I'm smashing them. Oh, yeah. Here. I feel like I'm always stretching in this cooking glasses because this camera is here. Of course, I don't cook like this. Usually, I just cook here. But what do I do for you people? I mean, seriously, Lydia, my beloved Lydia, whose birthday tomorrow, we should sing her happy birthday in Polish. Happy birthday, Lydia. In Polish, you know how. So uh, hot, Lydia. Yeah, so uh, we were cooking so much last weekend that like my neck was killing me. I, I like stretched out my neck because I was always like in, this, in the kitchen and sick, testing, retesting everything for my book. So I had to go for massage, for acupuncture, I was using my oils, so my neck feels so much better and the yoga helped too. So see, it needs to be like very mushy mushy like this. I had to go for massage. Yeah, let's go again. So now I'm going to add this to this. So this is so simple and it's amazing. It tastes really, really good. Yes, Bill? Oh, yeah. But again, you don't try it with this kind of bananas. It will absolutely not work. This will not work with these kind of bananas. Green, no, green bananas are no good. No, even little yellow bananas. It has to be the more the spotty, like the spotty, like if you were making banana bread. That's, they're going to be naturally sweet because we're not putting any sugar. And we want it to be like sticky. You know how banana is mushy. So now we're going to put two... Everyone thinks <clears throat> the bananas with the black spots are bad. I know. They're the best. They're I'll the freeze sweetest. them for banana ice cream. So this is my favorite, favorite, favorite vanilla medicine flower vanilla it's amazing if you don't have it just use regular um mm, just use regular um vanilla do you want can you help me bill can you smash those two bananas sure and i'm gonna i'll smash the bananas after finish packing okay so half a tea, half a tablespoon of this where's the smasher the smasher is here. Oh, you're using the fork? Yeah. You, you saw me doing it. So half a teaspoon of vanilla. I was on the banana, vanilla. The cool. You have to shake it before. It smells so good, this vanilla. I don't know. This, I think these are tablespoons. No. Okay, so here. So I'm going to put some here too already because we're doing two, two kinds because Bill is going to eat them all, trust me. My oh, mother-in-law yeah. loves them. I mean, everybody loves them. These are so good. I mean, unless you don't like coconut. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, no. You spilled it? Yeah. Oh, that's going to cost me a fortune. Oh, my God. Spilled it. I can't fix this. Yikes. Oh. I'm telling you, today I'm like yeah, spilling and oh, this is what happened in the kitchen. I mean, what are you going to do? I spilled a little bit, not that much. Goodbye, vanilla. Goodbye, vanilla. I didn't spill it that much. There was water here. I just spilled it like a little bit. So here, uh, and now I'm putting a pinch of pink Himalayan crystal. I mean, and... Salt, pinch, I mean, pinch is like, just a pinch. You don't even have to put, but should it I just gives you like... Should I smash the bananas individually or put them both together? It doesn't no, matter. No, both together. Or however you want it, just pinch. Okay, and now maple syrup or coconut nectar? These are nice and easy to peel. Yeah, what do you feel? Maple syrup or coconut nectar? Uh, maple syrup. Or rock are gonna I'm gonna show them both. This is so sticky. So rock coconut nectar is the sap from the coconut tree. 
and this is maple syrup. So uh, how about I put one in this one and one in the other one? Perfect. Because maple syrup is not raw, you know, it's cooked. So right. two tablespoons. But two, no. three tablespoons, you know, depending on how sweet your bananas are and how you're sweet. You're high raw, you're not all raw. Yeah, but I'm just saying. So I'm putting the maple syrup to these guys, to the first batch. One. I don't know if I have another. Smashing bananas. I have more maple syrup in the fridge, but hold on. I think using a bigger tool will be better. This is small You can use my potato smasher from the drawer. Yeah, potatoes. That's what I'm talking about. In the drawer with the tool on the bottom? Yeah, let's, let's, let's get involved here. I mean, let's do this right. We're going to do it. I did it. I mean, go come on. You have bigger muscles than me. Come on, Bill. Work your muscles. It's not muscles. I just, I like, you know, oh, use my. the right tool for the job here. Bill is, you know, Lily, are you better assistant than Bill? <laughs> Here, like this smasher? Like this Thank is a, you, Bill. This is a real smasher. Yeah, just smash it. Okay. This is a real smasher. Okay, Forks and then eating. that's it. This thing's for smashing. Okay, so you can use potato. Oh, look, oh yeah, look at this. Yeah. Now we're smashing. Now we're smashing like a boss. Look at that. Yep. That is, that is some good smashing right there. Okay. Let's put, oh, let's put it under the camera so you can see me smash. So I'm going to make oh, the other one. Here. I'm gonna put like so if you want nice chocolate, smash. chocolatey. Bill, you're blocking me. Oh, sorry. If you want chocolatey, I'm just gonna put like depending how much chocolatey you want. Smash. I'm gonna put like one tablespoon of chocolate. How much do I smash? What you want I... very chocolatey, or maybe one and a half? Yeah, not too chocolatey. Just like a nice, a nice yeah. flavor of chocolate. Okay. I want to really experience. Okay. Perfect. I want to experience the so, maple syrup okay. and the coconut. Okay. So now you can put them in here. Look at this. Oh, you want me doing? This is some good smashing. Do you want me do it or no? What am I gonna do now? See, okay, let me show it oh, to them. So see, change right. the color. So now this one are gonna mm. be brown. So these are gonna be the chocolate macarons. These are gonna be the vanilla macarons, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put. Look at that smash. <clears throat> smells so good. It does. It smells really good. Okay, and now we are going. And I'm gonna. Yeah. I would have made three bowls, three different ones, but Lillian, I. Have... Uh, Lydia's giving me props. Okay, what's she telling? She you? said thumbs up to Bill. He's he's helping in the kitchen. Sexy men in the kitchen. Okay, so now we're gonna put. Do you want to measure? Thank you, Lydia. Thanks for sticking up for me. Excuse me? Because I'm always getting thrown under the bus. Oh my god, you are amazing. Thank you. He's such a good husband. He helps so much. He's my everything. I mean, he. I'm, a, I'm and not today, a smasher, apparently. No, you are, you are good. He's so good. And today, you, you're amazing. I did. Amazing can, we can say it, but yeah. So here, you're going to, uh, let's put maybe three tablespoons of may, um, raw coconut nectar because we put a little bit of raw cacao. Here, hold this. I'm gonna, cause it's, I don't know, it's not I small like molasses, but, but it's kind of small. <laughs> it's better than molasses. You mean but slow. Slow, but it's slow, look. It is slow. It's really slow. Okay, come I, on. I can take a nap by the time this thing's done. Okay, how about you gonna be doing this? Because three tablespoons. Three of these? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take you a long time. I have for the morning. <laughs> yep. Okay, so here I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna mix that one and I'm gonna scoop a little bit in this banana one because I... This should give it a bigger hole. And you can also put some lemon, lemon juice if you want to make it like lemony flavor. So here I'm going to mix it. I can't be stretching over yeah, there. Yeah, Lydia, she does prefer you as her. You're a better assistant. Who? Lydia. She, she said that? Yeah. That she's better than you? Well, she said you prefer her. I mean, she's like... A, She's amazing. I mean, Lydia, you like, there's no better assistant than you. I mean, you're amazing. I'm a good tester. And you like to, like, you're very precise and you very, you know, organized and she's very, very, very precise. I'm more like an artistic, creative you are. weirdo. So, okay, so these macarons are going to be a little weird because they have different kinds of coconuts in it. I think it's going to be something new oh, it's and gonna amazing. Be I think amazing. New and amazing, but they just... Amazing things are happening here. They may not be as... They, the bowls may not be as pretty because those are big. 
These are big pieces of shredded coconut. As long as they taste good. Yeah, I mean, we may have to make cookies out of those. <laughs> like more, more, you know what I'm saying, more mm. flat. Okay, so... It smells so good. It smells sweet. Like me. Sweet like you. No, it smells so good because of the vanilla. It smells good because of me. Yeah, it smells good because of you. So here, so look guys, so see this is uh, mixed in. I'm gonna scoop a little bit just to show you how to make Something a like pink blue. color or you can make the blue color. All the natural colors, how to make it. Wow, it's free. I know, it's crazy, right? Is this free? That's three. Okay, perfect. Wow, we'll have to wash this because yeah. this is like, i wash this later. Um, so, hold on. Wow. Right? <laughs> yep. Be careful because these measuring spoons, they, they knew I, they glass, so you don't want to break them. You don't like want to throw them. No okay. way. Yeah, they, they glass. You know I like to throw spoons around the kitchen. Of course. So here, here is the, this color. Yes, you are so good, Lydia. And I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, beet. I'm gonna put a little bit beet um, powder to show you how you can make how you can make the beet color. I mean, pink color. So just so this is the beet powder. You better not dump it because mm. this is gonna be. So this, like, if you're making for Valentine's Day or something. Or you can even use raspberry juice or any kind of juice or cranberry juice, you know, but I just don't want to, I don't have room to be making, but see, look, you have beautiful color and now we're going to have three color macarons, but basically following my, following my, um, Olenko's kitchen, you know, rainbow colors, how I show you in my cookbook to make, you can make different colors. So here. You were gonna have the, the the pink one, the white one, and the brown one. The brown one are very light. We may have to add more. Did we put vanilla in these? Well, yeah. you spilled the vanilla, remember? Or did I put it here? I don't know. I don't know if it made it if it made it off, off the. Uh, I don't know. The counter. I'm gonna try it later. Because uh, these have I put it, you know, coconut powder these may have to um maybe i put maybe i will put a little bit more banana but i don't know because it's kind of very it doesn't want to stick so much maybe i put like half a banana more No, you I know don't. I like bananas? So they have no bones. Exactly. Oh, it's mixing it. That is exactly right. They if are boneless. If it's not too sticky, then guys add some and that more bananas, you know. I mean, this is just raw cooking, so it's not like baking. You don't have to be precise. It's not like we're putting baking powder because something is not going to rise or the texture is going to be bad. This is just... Raw food is so easy. Anybody can do it. Okay, so let's, I have to wash my hand, I'm on the, and then you have to have clean hands because you're gonna be rolling the bowls. But I gotta finish packing. To go. Mm, so good, no, we don't need any more banana, otherwise it's gonna be too mushy. So look. I gotta hydrate. <clears throat> I don't think so, I put any, Medi medicine vanilla. I'm just gonna put a little scoop. Well, you just spilled it. I no, know. I then you drop. Then you use some. And then... I know, but it needs more because you know when you we put the raw cacao powder, so it's just maybe needs a little bit more. So because otherwise I just taste the cocoa. Okay, so here. Here guys, now we have all these macarons. So this is with the raw beet powder. 
I bought it in um, Whole Foods. You can buy it. So it's organic beetroot powder. Or you can just put use a little bit beets. Uh, just blend or raspberry juice or cherry juice or anything. So here now, um, excuse me, lovey. I'm going. You are a great assistant. Thank you. And you're a great husband. We know each other for 19 years, almost a long time. Here. It's a long time, all right. <laughs> Why? What is this paper towel? This is the vanilla. Excuse me, I want you to. Where'd you get the vanilla this? from? Oh, Raw Food World, but Raw this is from the world. company. I'm I have more. If you don't like vanilla, I have uh, this. Oh, I like vanilla. I love no, vanilla. No, but I want to show it to them. This company, the Medicine Flower, they make all these different flavors. Passion fruit, butternut scotch, oh, what else? Uh, coffee. And they don't have any alcohol. So rose, you can make rose. Or you can even use essential oils, of course. Coffee flavor, caramel, um, butternut squash, and passion fruit. Or, of course, we can put a little bit of um, essential oils you know, from Vitality line, Fritch, citrus fresh, or maybe orange, or lemon, or clove, whatever you want, if you want. If you use essential oils from Vitality line, from Young Living, just maybe even in the toothpick, because they're very powerful, so you don't want to overpower. So now look, we have the clean hands, and now we're going to be making little bowls. Yeah, I didn't need to add more banana because see, these were mm. very tiny. Um, so how long do you dehydrate them for overnight? You'll be testing. No, sometimes even more. It depends, you know. How thick they are and how yeah. thick they are and. But so it's you, very dry, even in here. Like yeah, it's, saying, so they may not. It's take, winter time. The heat's on. So and but also you know depends. It depends. So here you make little balls. I mean, these are you can just eat it like this. You can even put it in the fridge. But they're gonna no, be nice crunchy. No, it's nice Of course. A little crisp. So here I'm going to make the white one. See, these may not stick so well because the, I, this is the three different, um, what do you call it? Three different kind of shredded coconuts. Cause it's all right. So it's yeah, okay. make sure you it's use legal. the big one. They don't stick very well. So try to use the medium size or the very fine one. Because see the big one, look, it comes. Can you chop up the big ones? Yeah, I could have, but in a, yeah, I could have made it like in the food processor or in a, the hydrator, I, I mean um, Vitamix. So here, it sticks a little bit. So here is the white one. It's all right. And here I'm gonna make the pink one. And they are so, so yummy. I am stuffed. That was some good pasta and some delicious salad. Good. I am so full. I know, plant-based food gives you proteins, gives you energy. You know, you can have desserts, healthy food, and, you know, kids will love it. Trust I'm me, kids will love these. I'm going to tomorrow because I'm exhausted. What? I'm going to need some energy for tomorrow because I'm exhausted. So, here. Um, can you show it to them? Because I need, I need to wash. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wash my I need to wash my hands anyway. Pink balls. So look how pretty they are. See you guys? Just try and avoid the blue balls. We can make blue one with my secret <laughs> not. things, but yeah, Bill, this is keep it. <laughs> Kids may be watching. So here, um, so this is the chocolate. You can make them blue with that yeah, special stuff. The white one and then the pink one. And you can make different natural food coloring, different colors. The purple, the blue, whatever you want. The green. If I was going to put the... Um, where is my Eat the Rainbow Superfoods? Man, I don't know. They all look so good. So here, this is um, here. See, this is the different colors. So this is the shredded coconut that I make the blue. So we could have made them blue, if I or yellow. If you put the, um, I don't know if you can guys see it. If you, I can't turn it. Otherwise, everything will spill. But yeah, you can make basically different colors. You can make a rainbow macaroons. Cool? That sounds Which good. Which we do make it. Because, you know, I make everything rainbow. You do. Because I like rainbow. Eat the rainbow. So, um, let's see if anybody... Pretty colors. Yes, pretty. I will save you some for your birthday, Lydia. Really nice. Yeah, the pink one is very nice. 
Uh, but C looks better when they are smaller. So yeah. that's about it, I think. I don't know. Did I forget about anything? Let me see um, about the questions. Yeah, so you know, oh, I know what I forgot. Uh, so I forgot to say about the vegan, vegetarian and, and pescatarian. So for those, so plant-based means that you're eating a lot of plants, that you're trying to incorporate a lot of plants. And there is no like percentage. It really means, you know, just eat a lot of plants. Vegetarian means that you eat, you don't eat meat, you don't eat fish, but you still eat cheese and eggs. Pescatarian means that you eat fish, but you don't eat meat. And then vegan means that you don't eat anything from the animals. No meat, no cheese, no honey, dairy. anything, no dairy. And now... And honey, yeah, honey is actually not vegan. No, honey technically is not vegan. So, but there are some vegans and... So there's two kinds of vegans. There's ethical vegans who do this for the animals um, because, you know, they really care for the animals. They love the animals. They all about, you know, uh, helping, you know, pre preventing exploitation of animals, you know, either for, you know, fashion, for, uh, you know, for food, for anything, you know, putting like, you know, leather in your car, you know, so... So they do this, but then many times they eat junk vegan food. They they eat junk food. They don't eat you know healthy food. Like the and there is vegans who you know are more for health uh, benefits, and there are vegans who are for both, and there are vegetarians for both. So there's many many different you know options. There is some paleo diet you probably have heard, which means they eat meat and they're supposed to be like hunting stuff, and they eat a lot of vegetables and fruits and like natural things, but they don't eat uh, processed food. And they don't need a lot of carbohydrates. So, you know, whatever diet it is. And then raw diet means that you're eating, you know, and again, you can be high raw, you can be all raw, that you're eating everything, you know, trying to eat in a raw form, which could be raw, like raw tomatoes or from the dehydrator, anything below 118 degrees, which the powder, like I showed you, that's raw. So it could be raw, it could be frozen, it could be in a powder. Um, yeah. So any other questions? I did I uh, and then you know there's so many other diets. So for me, it's that's why I like to call it eat the rainbow diet, which includes everybody, doesn't include and exclude anybody, and that's what I'm all about about compassion and love and non-judgment because who I am. It's you are on your own path to well wellness and health. I'm here to inspire you. If you have any questions, let me know, and yeah, and you know just uh, really listen to your body. It, when you go to the store, read the labels, educate yourself, educate your kids, be a good example for your kids, for your family, cook together, garden together, visit local farms, learn about, you know, the cruelty of factory farming because it really, it's horrible. So if you do eat meat, you know, try, you know, to eat it from the local sources and, you know, better versions of that. So, yeah, because, cool. animal, you know, eating animals, not just bad for your health, it's not just bad for the animals, but it's really, really bad for the environment that, you know, that factory farming, that's number one cause of pollu pollution, you know, pollution for the earth. So, uh, so make sure, you know, you, you really, you know, have a mindful living. That's what I'm all about, mindful living. When you go shopping, we'll bring our own bags. Yes, we don't use the plastic bags. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you forget, but I always tell you, keep it in your car. You know, keep it in your car, the bags. Use glass instead of plastic. Recycle, reuse, think outside of the box. You know, I came from communists. We didn't have anything. So we always had to be resourceful. Uh, use secondhand clothes, you know, share. Don't, you know, don't just throw it out. Give it away to your sister to you know, other companies. There's so many people in need. So if we share and spread the love, there will be plenty for all of us. There wouldn't be homeless people in the world, hungry people in the world. We have so many resources if we all share it. Yes? Very nice, babe. Yeah, so that's about it. And uh, love you guys. And um, you know, I'll be keeping you up with all the cool projects, really. Unfortunately, I think that month, next Monday is not gonna be a stream. Why? I'm gonna be away, I'm for work. So how about Sunday? Don't know if I'm going to be away on Sunday yet. Okay, so... So, it's to, to be determined. Because I won't be able to pick the... You know, so if there's no streaming, there's no streaming. There may, may be Sunday. If, if there's going to be a stream next week, it'll be Sunday. Sunday. Or we may have to do it on Friday or something. Maybe. Yeah, so we no, may have... No, I'm working Friday too. But you can... Okay, so we'll... So, we might have to take a week. We'll see. It's either going to yeah, be Sunday so, or, or a week off. So, let's see. 
Yes. Oh, I just do That's something Sunday with my fifth. phone. That's Sunday the 5th. Okay, so we keep you posted, guys, because, you know, I need his technical advice, ad, advisory, because it's... <laughs> it's more than advice, babe. <laughs> I mean, it's more than advice. He, he's doing it. You could assist him, It's not but, like I'm like, I think you should do it this yeah, way. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, if I was your assistant with technical stuff, I would be so bad. you better assistant in my kitchen than I'd be assistant with your technical stuff. I don't know, about, I don't know stuff. about that. I can mash, I can mash the bananas. Okay, That's and yeah, it. if you wanted to put make green macarons look, you can put matcha powder or spirulina or spinach. So just realize that. And yeah, so anything else? Did I forget anything? I think I answered all your questions. So yeah, so for picky eaters, just keep Bye -bye. feeding them with different things. Love you guys. And for my cookbook, you can buy it on Amazon and Barnes and Noble, so raw food art. And if you want to join me, I have a private group, 21 days transformation to plant-based diet. I'll be happy to add you. Okay. Good night. Going to make those macarons now. Ciao. And eat my pasta. The Branots. Happy birthday, Lydia. Stolat. Bye. Bye. Bye.